He's so cute. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for a new movie. Yay. But even though it's a new movie, I've already seen it. Right. Because I took my daughter to it. Because that's what you do. And you didn't want to go to the theaters, so. I've seen it. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. And I loved it. Both huge Ghostbusters fans. Yep. You got your Ghostbusters shirt on. Our daughter loved it. There was a point in the movie where she was scared, but then she got over it. That is to be expected because Ghostbusters is typically yeah, it's, <laughs> scary. It's about ghosts. She's only six, so there were some yeah. moments. But after that, she, she got over that and she loved the ending and she was into it. So Awesome. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to see you watch this. Yeah, I've seen... Uh, I saw one of the initial trailers mm -hmm. when it was like a, a teaser trailer and was excited to see the Ecto mm -hmm. kind of back to life a little bit. Now there's uh, Paul Rudd's in it. So one of our, both of our- Even better. Both of our free passes, mm -hmm. right? And uh, uh, Carrie Coon is in it from Leftovers and uh, Fargo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. She's the mom, I'm guessing. Yes, she's the mom. And then, and it's- it's awesome. So I'm excited to watch I'm it. Excited so I'm excited too. I just got it on home video and ready to watch it again. Let's do it. So should we jump right in? Absolutely. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us. We're watching Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want full length commentary or access to polls to help us pick where we watch next or early access to our videos here on YouTube. Check out the links down below. We also have social media. So if you're interested in Twitter or Instagram, you can check us out there at you, me, the movies yep, on both Twitter and Instagram. Check it out. Let's watch Ghostbusters Afterlife. Let's do it. Ooh, ghost corpse. Ghost core. You don't pronounce the oh, S. Oh, it's silent. Which that makes me think they're, if they started up a company for this, that they're, Gonna do There's like gonna more in the more. franchise, right? Shandor Mining Company. They dug too deep. Oh no. Oh, it's a pro to proton pack. Strong f entity, huh? You know who that is? One of the original Ghostbusters. Do you not remember his name? I can't see his face. Venkman? No, that's Bill Murray. It's Egon. E isn't Egon dead? Mm -hmm. Harold Ravis? Yeah. That's why they don't show his face, obviously. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. That house is looking rough. Oh no, he's not going to go down like that, is he? Oh no. He's a ghost now. Dang. Didn't seem like a very friendly ghost either. Man. Got it. You're better at other things, like quesadillas. Your quesadillas are excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Your quesadillas are excellent. I can fix that! Listen, I wait for you to leave. I don't think he'd be thrilled with those huge holes in the wall. <laughs> there it is. This is Somerville. This is where your grandfather lived. And died. <sighs> Come on, not a single bar. There better be a bar. At the small town, there's definitely a bar. This is normal? <laughs> hey, maybe it's a good thing you never met your dad. Well, a little 
c c c crazy. Egon was always a little weird. Beeps, be a deer and break into your grandfather's house. <laughs> How long was he in there before somebody found him? He doesn't seem like he's got a lot of friends. Not a single photo. Oh, look at that upright piano. Yeah, he's trying to take it apart like ours. His doesn't look as heavy. I'm uh, Janine Melnitz. We spoke on the phone. I, I was your father's. Uh, you know, we were friends. Uh, very sorry for your loss. It's okay. You've known better than me. So he left us nothing? Well, I wouldn't say that. There is quite a bit of debt. Super! <laughs> Are you telling me this place is worthless? You mean aside from the sentimental value? Looks like it's got land. Start farming. <laughs> or selling. Yeah. We have lives, you know. You don't think I have a life? No. You're a mom. You live for us. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? I'll be right back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, that was great. Dude, that was really cute. Yeah. You have a chance with her. You really do. Good for him putting himself out there. Dirt Farmer had a family? You knew my father? No one knew your father. <laughs> well, I'm sure he'll be missed. Nope. <laughs> Was she still on skates? <laughs> Your granddad wants to play chess with you, apparently. Huh? Yeah, check out the creepiest parts of the of the farm in the dark. This close. Who's gonna win? I would think Egon, but I don't know. She seems pretty smart. Why should you never trust Adams? Because they make up everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny for like a Laffy Taffy joke. <laughs> Most of the kids that go here, they're not very bright. Hey, Colin. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> It's great. It's called Cujo. It's about a rabid Saint Bernard that, you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to give too much away. But imagine Beethoven if he contracted rabies and just started mauling children. <laughs> <laughs> it's on our list. Beethoven? No, Cujo. Oh. It's based on a Stephen King novel. Um, and podcast. Why do people call you podcast? Oh, I call myself podcast because of my podcast. <laughs> That old apocalyptic ranch off of 99 this is my father's place. Dirt farmer had a family. <laughs> Dirt farmer. <laughs> all the kids are like, meh. Happens all the time. No, I, I set up geophones, but I can't triangulate. Are you using three? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many sides there are in a triangle. I just thought you were being obtuse. Was that a geometry joke? Yes, that's why I winked. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely Egon's granddaughter. You should borrow my hoodie. No, it's fine. Seriously, it's fine. It's really masculine. It's got a wolf on it. Trust me. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised it fits me. Yeah, it's my boyfriend's actually. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Maybe a little more. Uh, tell me a joke or something. A joke? Mm -hmm. What do you call a dead polar bear? Mm -hmm. Anything you want. It can't hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> Are we even allowed to be here? Oh yeah, totally. My mind's been closed since the 40s. They just put all these signs up because uh, hazardous chemical leaks and when I got a dynamite, I do this. <laughs> Built these. 
this. Depends who you believe. One day they just showed up without explanation. Are those ruins of? I don't know. That devil dog looked familiar, though. There it is. Look, this is totally cool. This is a no, uh, zero pressure. Uh, but, um, do you want to be my lab partner? Well, I don't think we're going to be doing any labs, but yeah. yeah. That's like the middle school science geeks way of saying, be my girlfriend, right? <laughs> Are you recording me? Yeah, just in case your body's pulled apart into tiny pieces by an unseen dark force. <laughs> What does he know? <laughs> okay, so this is happening. <laughs> That's aggressive. She doesn't believe in spirits. Oh, he is going to make her believe in them. Is it a puzzle? Yeah. It's got like a labyrinth under the floor. Let's oh. so put the trap. <laughs> Spoilers. Bombs. Science is giving yourself the plague and gambling on the cure. Science is reckless. Totally. Yes. It's punk rock. It's a safety pin through the nipple of academia. Ouch. <laughs> He's gonna release a horrible ghost. Any minute now. When did he get, catch that thing? I thought it disappeared when it killed him. Maybe it was a different one. Your grandfather was a Ghostbuster. Yes, I'm aware. Oh, damn. He's gonna be pissed when he finds out that she released it. Oh, no. She wanted him, her to find the, the trap, though. So. That's true. Whoa! Aztec Death Whistle. It's designed to ward off evil spirits. It's actually got a really horrifying sound. That is a horrifying sound. Hi. Hello again. You brought them home. It's a service I provide. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm also an escort. What? That came out okay. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, the only thing lurking inside here is my slowly dying soul. Is that what that smell is? <laughs> um, would you... Sure. <laughs> I just don't exhibit emotions the same way everyone else does. Inside, I'm vomiting. <laughs> Wait. Isn't this what we saw there? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, jeez. The souls of the dead are ruled by a mighty god. Gozer. And protected by a powerful gatekeeper. The dog goes, or the dog is a gatekeeper, right? Same ghost that haunted New York back in the day, huh? Kids do really stupid things. <laughs> you think you'll ever leave? Even if I don't. What does that say about me? You don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> Get off that. Sh Get off that. Sh oh, God. His lair. Do you think those grain bins, those metal grain bins out in the front yard are ghost traps? Do you think there's a ton of ghosts in those giant ghost traps in the front yard? Oh gosh. This 
Ship's collections of spores and fungi. Suits. What kind of scientist was Grandpa? The kind that repels loved ones. <laughs> Maybe a physicist? Sure. Sure. Mr. Gruberson. His name is Gary Gruberson. <laughs> Don't be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Do we think they're still operating? <laughs> think that number is still active? It's like Bill Murray's cell phone number or something. <laughs> Switch me on. Proton pack. That is an intense sound. Like she's about to fly out of there. Safety's off. Her feet are planted. Her face is Dude, I'd back up, kid. Oh my god! Did I hit it? You didn't hit it! You destroyed it! It doesn't even exist anymore! <laughs> Yeah, you might need to use that. Great. It's like a selenium slimer. <laughs> oh, too many arms. Oops. <laughs> Dang it. You're so close. Oh, come on. You gotta ask for your sister's help. Grandpa's there. Yeah. That's a shame. Shouldn't drive through a wheat field like that. Boredom. Actually, it might have been Barley. Do you know how to drive? He doesn't. He failed his driver's test three times. Get in the back. <laughs> Who knows, maybe she'll take up pole dancing. Oh, well, she's not really coordinated. <laughs> oh, I don't think that matters. <laughs> <laughs> we saved the world and fought back an invading army of the undead. Not to mention a 100 foot marshmallow man. <laughs> yeah, stay puffed. Well, some kind of animal taking a bite out of Steve Fletcher's truck. Apparently, he almost hit the whole tailgate off. Muncher. 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 So what should I be looking for? Evidence. Slime trails. Ectoplasm. Munches. Can you stop breathing in my ear? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Careful, girl. Trap him. Don't f it up this time. So cool. <laughs> Hold on, Phoebe. Oh, good. They gonna get him? I'm guessing no. 
Now oh, trap that already. Yikes. Uh... Oh god. Good golly. What was that? I think we just caught a ghost. <laughs> That's what the silos are for. It's where they st he stores all the ghosts. The containment unit? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We're screwed. We're so screwed. What do we do? Totally. Is it you? Okay. Lucky. Quit messing with my inmates. It's Massive Genius from Sopranos. <laughs> Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. She really is. She's gonna call that phone number. You think so? Yeah. Not her mom. <laughs> Dan Aykroyd. Raise a call and we're closed. Wait, I only get one phone call. I'm in prison. <laughs> no, not <laughs> prison. Egon Spangler can rot in hell. Oh, jeez. But they are the first to destroy half of Main Street with whatever the hell that thing is. Whoa! <laughs> He's like, sweet, a proton bag! <laughs> we caught a ghost tonight. Dirt farmer's family. It's true, and there'll be more. I can't believe you starting to sound like your lunatic grandfather. <laughs> oh, Jiminy. Give it. I wouldn't recommend that either. <laughs> I'm sorry the night went sideways. No, oh, I had a blast. It's like the coolest end to a date ever, right? <laughs> my life is a dumpster fire. I love dumpster fires. You should see my apartment. <laughs> I, mean, I don't mean now. <laughs> But all I see are reminders that I didn't mean a thing to him. He never cared about me. He was trying to save the world because you were in it. He totally cared about you. If I saw Paul Rudd in a Walmart, I'd freak out. <laughs> He's getting some Baskin Robbins. That's where Ant-Man worked. <laughs> Stay puffed marshmallows. Stay puffed marshmallows. There he is. He's a little tiny guy. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, God, he's so cute. Oh no. <laughs> Took one of their own out. <laughs> Trying to eat themselves. <laughs> uh oh. That is the nicest looking inside of a Walmart that I've ever seen. <laughs> Must be a new one. <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Gary's not dead, is he? He didn't just eat Gary. He's tacky. In New York, he created an apartment building made out of selenium girders. Mine from right here. On that same rooftop is where our grandfather fought to keep a horde of ghosts from entering our dimension. What exactly is happening here? I can only think of one way for us to find out. 
The selenium's like a really good conductor of mm-hmm. ghost energies. It's what all the beams in the building were made out of to make that gateway to the other dimension. So, what do a cigarette and a hamster have in common? What? They're both completely harmless until you stick one in your mouth and light it on fire. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. Is that her? Is that Gozer? Gozer isn't he or she. Gozer looks like David Bowie. (laughs) (laughs) Statistically, most 15-year-olds are virgins. 15? You're 15. I'll be 16 in February. It's June. (laughs) (laughs) Sandor. Dude, he's in a coffin. It's Evo Shandor. He's been in here for- Oh, Shandor. Excuse me, Shandor. The Krakatoa eruption. The most violent volcanic activity in human history. What happened in 1908? This house was built. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a countdown. Uh, like a prophecy? Do you guys hear that? Well, there's one more set of years after this one, so you guys should be good then. Yippers. Is this where Chuck got scared? No. I've been scared a few times, so... If she was only scared once, good for her. Back away from the pit, Phoebe. Grandpa hooked up the proton packs in there. Just don't cross the streams, right? No, I think he is crossing the streams. That's how they shut the gate on top of the roof, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. He sacrificed everything. His life. His friends. His family. Bummer. I love how none of them have hesitations jumping down this pole into a dark hole. Everybody wants to go down a fire pole, so... Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The mom and Paul Red both aren't dead, are they? Like, that would suck so bad. Mom? Oh, sh- Mom? There is no mom. There is only Zoo. How do we exercise her? This is the creepy part. This is where Chuck got scared. Oh, donut holes. That sounds Mm. good. Oh, shoot. Gozer into the field. Gozer is protected by two evil spirits. The key master and the gatekeeper. She needs both of them. No gate. Your mom and Gary. Or Rick Moranis and Sigourney Weaver in the first one. Yeah. They were just here. <laughs> Got anything? No, just more stupid guns. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! There's this... A big old ghost in there. Oh. Good plan! Yeah, great plan. Seems pretty harmless. It eats a lot of metal. Yeah. Jump. 
piss it off. Also, it could have backfired because he didn't need to eat his way out of that. He could have just yeah. ghosted his way out of there. He's probably a little hungry. He'd been in the trap for a while. That's true. Definitely like David Bowie. Yeah. I have built this temple for you. And together, we, we can rule the world. Olivia Wilde? Is that Olivia Wilde? Yeah. I think so. Par pardon me. Yeah, hi. What do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> Are you prepared to die? No, I'm 12. Are you? What about Gary? Gotta save Gary too. They only had one trap. Damn it. You're kind of possessed. Possessed? And you turn into a dog. And you get kind of humpy. Humpy? <laughs> Are they hoping to lure them to the so. farm? I think that's what uh, Egon was doing in the opening scene. What the hell was that? That was your boyfriend, Gary. Boyfriend? Not, oh, a demon dog is my boyfriend? Baby. You're, you're... A Ghostbuster. I'm a scientist. <laughs> now it's a cornfield? It it was a wheat field before. I think there's corn around the immediate area. Mm -hmm. God, I hope they got the electrical fixed. God dang it, stay buffed. Not again. Oh no. Hey, flat top. Have you missed us? In the name of the county of Somerville, state of Oklahoma, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, all the members of Ducks Unlimited, the Association for the Advancement of Retired Persons, <laughs> to depart this world immediately. Bravo. I think she remembers us. Light him up. Two, one, two. Did you feel that? Yeah. Uh-oh. Is Arnie crossing the street? Oh. No. Oh, God. Hope nobody broke a hip. <laughs> I don't remember this job being so painful. I do. <laughs> <laughs> We could have been the most spectacular power couple. You know, my sense of fun and your personality. <laughs> and that's probably the number one reason why. Oh, good try, anyway. Come on, boys, get up. Get your streams crossed again. That's cool.
I thought you might turn up. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh my god, just get the shit out of me. Where's Lucky and Gary? Pete Venkman from the home office. Thanks for pitching in. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have Coco inside. Some of us will have rum with it. <laughs> yeah. My hands hurt from galloping. <gasps> <laughs> I totally thought I lost you. Sorry about that. Well, that was weird. <laughs> you gotta be my podcast. Sure, what's it called? Mystical Tales of the Unknown Universe. MTW, that's you. You're my subscriber? Really found its voice in the 46th episode. That's when you know they did Egon right. Why are you half a second early? I think our sound's probably desynced because of the different. Invisible man sleeping in your bed. Who are you going to call? call? We are desynced. Yeah. It's so annoying. Tell me what this is. I was going to say, we didn't see Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> Lines. <laughs> Two. No, th three. Wavy lines. It's amazing. You're amazing. But some believe that true love imbues a subject with the ability. There's a mirror behind you. <laughs> did you mark the cards? You did, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it works well. <laughs> Is there another? Yeah, there's one at the very end. But we can talk to our closing right now. All right, that was Ghostbusters Afterlife. I like that a lot. Yeah, Jason Reitman picking up where his dad left off. I right. think it it was a wonderful addition to mm. the original three. I like how it built on the original legacy, but also it was his own thing. Yep, it's a little up story. Of it, yeah, right. With a great tribute to them at the end. Beautiful and tribute. That Egon moment. It's oh gosh, hard not to. Whew. It was getting my heartstrings in the theater when I was watching that. So they did a great, I think this is probably the best post mortem performance, right? Yeah, that they've they, ever done. In they film. did a great job making that actor, whoever yeah. did that look just like it was the probably a CGI uh, and a uh, body double. And then they CGI would over his yeah, face, it's right? Beautifully done. But yeah, they did a great job. And I feel like you could tell all the old actors who had experience with Harold. Yeah. Like they were touched by the moment as well when, when they were, performing as the old characters sure. like it, it felt real yeah and i think that adds to the impact of yeah that it felt authentic yeah. yeah mckenna grace though as phoebe is awesome she nailed that yeah she did so good yeah. so i'm like i want to see more ghostbusters with phoebe yeah right? yeah so it'd be cool to see them continue this franchise so i hope it did well enough for sony and right? yeah gosh i yeah. hope so i'd love to see more of these yeah. continue the franchise because this was a great like there's a lot of films. This is kind of like uh, what do they call it a reboot, but and it's almost a like reboot a, sequel. A, a reboot, a with requel like is what they call it. A warm handoff. It, it, yeah. I mean, it's almost it's connecting the the old beautiful beautiful mm -hmm. Ghostbusters, right? Like the epitome of Ghostbusters, and that warm handoff saying or ushering yeah. in that new, new a new, a new group. Legacy, yeah. yeah, I love that. I think they're calling that a requel. Right? A requel, kind of like. All the Star Wars films are kind of a requel with the new trilogy. Yeah, yeah, but I guess. I feel like this was a better take on the franchise than the, the recent Star Wars films. It was awesome. So, 
I was very happy with this. So, and all the callbacks to the old ones, mm-hmm. right? But also their own little new quirks as well, right? Like, yeah. don't be yourself. <laughs> that line. And uh, Paul Rudd is always amazing in everything. He's hilarious. Yeah, maybe maybe heard people say it, it was too much, too many jokes. Too Paul like, Rudd. Yeah, but I thought it was good. I he mean, he was a science geeky science teacher. There's maybe a lot of them. Real. Yeah. I don't know that they that Carrie Coons and Paul Rudd even had a, a line between them that wasn't a joke, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. It, it worked for their character. They were flirty. And they had good chemistry, so they did have really good chemistry. Yeah. Another thing about this being awesome Ghostbusters is it had that element of horror as well. The yeah, it was Ghostbusters, scary. <laughs> and Ghostbusters too had their scary moments, and this yeah. one did as well. Yep. You jumped a couple times. It was scary. Yeah, those so. demon dogs are not yeah. my favorite. It'd be cool if they did Vigo in the next one. The the guy from the painting comes back. Yeah, no, that's all right. You don't want to see Vigo again? Not really. <laughs> what else is on your mind after that? I'm just glad we got to watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love Ghostbusters, and this one I felt was right up there with them. Yeah, Chuck got really scared during the uh, the mom possessed. She didn't like the mom getting. That was the only thing she was scared about because I felt like she it is too real. It, Felt like, what happened if that happened to my mom? What happened, yeah, right? I'm sure. If it happened to you. She was like, oh. And then once the mom was set free, she was completely fine. And then she loved the, the end of it. So. She just didn't like the mom. Getting... She was cuddling with her aunt the whole time <laughs> during, when she was possessed. So that scared her a little bit. But well, what should people comment on? Favorite new character. Yeah, who's your favorite new character? Was it Phoebe Podcast? I don't remember the, the son's name. Gary's mine. Gary, oh, Paul Rudd. <laughs> Who's your favorite new character? Or who's your favorite original Ghostbuster too? Yeah, that's absolutely. A, that's that's an question. important question. Mine's always been Vankman, so yeah. I was like Bill Murray. But I also liked how Podcast was like a little Ray. Yeah. Like with the glasses, he looked just like a little miniature Ray. <laughs> yeah. And then I love that the moment at the end with Ray and him when he's covered in the state puff, just like yeah. Ray was at the end of the first one. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, let us know your favorite Ghostbuster favorite from the Ghostbuster. original and also who your favorite new character was. And if you think they should continue... The Ghostbusters legacy and franchise with another That's right. sequel. Also, I would love to see McKenna Grace back as Phoebe, right? Yeah. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for yeah. Ghostbusters Afterlife. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Perfect timing. I want you to take this. What is it? It's my lucky coin. I shouldn't take it. We might not be coming back. Take it anyway. I got another one at home. <laughs> it's a deleted scene. Egon was brains. Ray was the heart. Peter just kept it cool. Mm-hmm. Who are you? The sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. You still covering the rent at Ray's bookshop? Ray's going to turn a profit one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> but I will always. Be a Ghostbuster. Uh oh. Taking it back to New York. All right. Yeah, there's the stinger. There we go. Makes it seem like they're uh, going to build off that, huh? Looks like it. So. Winston is a successful businessman, but it looks like he's been funding, right? He's they've, he's owned the, the fire station since. And Even though they, the I thought they referenced there. that it was a Starbucks. Now. Yeah, Ray said that, but that doesn't look like it's ever been a Starbucks. And actually, the old firehouse is still look, actually a, a real firehouse, I think, in New York. So. Well, there you go. But yeah, looks like uh, he's thinking about kicking the tires and bringing Ecto-1 out of retirement there. Could be. So, Could be. I'm hoping that means we're going to get another sequel. Uh, bring McKenna Grace in, Phoebe, as an intern, and a couple new uh, maybe podcasts as well. Could be. And bring some more new recruits in, start busting ghosts in New York again. Yeah. I like it. They ain't afraid of no ghost. Yeah. Anything else on your mind after that stinger? Yep. All right. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Bye.